Yes, I do think it helps if you work with uh, different scenarios to uh, to broaden the discussion in the first place and to and to get people involved. It's one way which which could work very good, I think. Uh, very recently, in uh, in uh, the Netherlands, the National uh, Planning Bureau also has drawn up a number of scenarios which can be very useful for that. Mm -hmm. uh, there is another. Um, uh, way we uh, we used uh, for the agenda space for the city which we developed three years ago and it could be seen <coughs> sorry as a kind of a prequel to the environmental vision we are making now and in that um, uh, planning uh, uh, we uh, we experimented with a different way and we uh, we just uh, we had of course some um, uh, some developments we wanted uh, um, to put in the in the planning, uh, but we asked uh, for eight different uh, parts of the city, a group of uh, of uh, people, just random people. They could uh, uh, um, uh, put in uh, their names on a list, and then uh, they were uh, a kind of a, a stakeholder uh, uh, policy. Um, and uh, we uh, we gave them uh, the support of a couple of uh, of planners, and all those eight groups made up their own plan for their part of the city. And then, in a in a general session, we brought them all together and let them discuss with with each other what they did and why they did it and what that meant for the whole city. And we could actually use very much of what of the main uh, items that came out of that discussion in the overall agenda we made up so it was a quite uh, a different way not by scenarios but just by what is necessary in your part of the city and can you discuss with your neighboring uh, um, uh, neighborhood how you can combine that and that also worked uh, pretty good. It was an agenda. It was not a real formal plan. Mm -hmm. The agenda, it worked pretty good.